In Europe, there is a small country named Montenegro. That small country is usually focused more on tourism than on his industry, even so it gets great potential. There is actually a monastery in which there happen a lot of miracles. You see, during the war, especially... You say during the war, once more. <laughs> I'm going to pour this cup of tea right over your head. I wasn't going to say during the war. Well, that's all right then. Bloody little Noel. You're all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. During the 1939-1945 conflict with Germany... Well, in that famous uh, conflict, as you can s see, the war was basically everywhere, also on the territory of the Montenegro, on which uh, Germans fight the partisans and also the Chetniks or any, basically any army that could possess a threat to the German army, well, they would have the conflict. That is basically what war it is. Anyway, in the fire of the cannons, one of the cannonball actually hit the monastery Rostrog. And what is uh, the miracle of this situation is the fact when that thing actually hit in the solid rock and it didn't explode. Even after the experts of all over the world came to the monastery and check th that place, they figure out that the explosive was actually fine. It should explode, but for some reason it didn't. It just stuck there. That is because the body of the saint is actually in that area. A god himself literally protects that place. This is the reason why people find it holy. Many miracles actually happen here. Some of them are actually captured on the camera. It is a lot more than just stories. But you see, we should also take a uh, seriously account from those stories because uh, Montenegro is actually a pretty small country and in that place everyone know basically every other person you know persons are in connection people know each other so it would be a great shame if someone go and say that some miracle happened to him even so people will capture him that he is a liar you know that is what make montenegro different than many countries you know people want here to have a nice thing saying about that so they don't lie because that will bring a shame to your entire family it's a uh, the customary of this place but uh, talking about miracles that are recorded <laughs> As you can see during the prayer the very big fog show up and it cover entire place and what surprised the people who were here that fog suddenly just go away uh, it was actually unnatural for that place that uh, is so high up in the air that suddenly have all the fog with no any wind just disappear like that uh, the fog would usually stay for hours but this just disappear in basically instant you can see it just move away uh, the people who live here never saw the fog moving in this particular way it is unexplainable uh, weather phenomenon this is why people call this a miracle because miracles are after all things that we cannot explain logically and yet they happen also during the long history of the monastery Ostrog many people who were sick or came here they will pray sometime and also they will sleep here and tomorrow they will wake up and their disease will just gone they will go to the doctor to check them out and they will not find a, even a trace of the disease also one of the miracles that happened here is when on the camera suddenly a bright light show up that nobody here actually saw 
it was really weird because uh, the security guard who watched those cameras say that there is nothing in the that area that could make uh, that bright of the lighting because he saw it how it looked like when it's bright sun out outside or when all the lights are uh, light in the room but nothing cannot be even close to this uh, only if somehow some person will put a um, hidden reflector somewhere but who would do that and why and it is basically impossible to perform such a hoax out there because it's always full of the people who would notice unusual behavior you see there are many examples of the Ostrog when it came to the miracle from the God. And if you want to experience that kind of miracle, you see, you can just show up one day like a tourist hoping that the same moment when you show up, uh, something amazing is going to happen. You have to stay there. You have to experience everything that happened in that area. You need to connect with people. You need to talk with priests and only then you will understand the power of that place then in your prayer you will connect with a god and then any problem that you have in the particular will just go away that's the true beauty of this place this is why i decide to make this video the monastery ostrog is a really beautiful place and the world is full of people who are suffering so I wish for you all of you to came here because this is the place where you are going to find a solution for all your problems that you have because remember with power of God everything is absolutely possible.